Hello everybody and welcome back to the shop. Ten more minutes, don't you? Till next. Right here on Sunday afternoon, baby. Might as well. Them guys are sure wrecking on TV. That ain't even really it should be called a race. That should be called wrecking. <laughs> a racing man. Okay. Now what we gotta do is uh, I wanna get this wing finished up. I wanna get these hinges mounted, or these flaps mounted, ailerons mounted, get servos in there. Alright? Alright. Now I gotta take the tape measure. Measure where my flock's gonna be. That's a one inch to one and a quarter. I knew that. I knew that. I was testing myself. I'm going to cut this slot. That link's going to be there waiting on me. It's about time. Cut me out of there. About time. I'm going to try and have this ready to fly here in the next couple of weeks, people. I don't see no reason why I cannot. think that happens BAM I'm not gonna go look but I tell you what that screwdriver idea is the bomb that's that gets right in there see and there's my aluminum ball link right there waiting on me see and here I am see right there it's perfect BAM now, I use my, I use my same little jig, put that on there, drilled me a hole, put that right there, drilled me another hole. Now I got to make that hole bigger. Gonna break out the old time drill bit to do it. This gets in here without angling. See my regular drill would angle. With the good old Yankee driver, I carry this in my flight box. And if I happen to need a drill at the flying field, you know, it actually works pretty good. This is what all the, your granddaddies used to use. <laughs> Before they had drills, see, for electricity. See, that's a straight fluted bit. Well, that's your grandpa had one just like this, I guarantee you. Maybe not this nice a model, but that's what they used like in like cowboy days. <laughs> Yeah, 
and they actually work pretty good. Hang on. And I'll take, I carried my flat box and uh, I've used it more than once. Not real often, but when you need it, it's nice to have it. And I got that hole nice and straight. And I just need to find a piece of wire. Oh, I know what I used. I used a screw. <laughs> but no after I did all them ties people I got pretty fast with I got pretty fast with this twister uh, I can see it working a whole lot better than a, a locking pair of pliers especially in them small areas man you just get in there twist it you got to keep kind of tugging on it twist it tug a little bit twist I was getting them nice and tight then just the last little bit with the needle nose it was working splendidly <laughs> just splendidly okay let's see how this cuts here. Plastic metal, they're probably talking about aluminum though. Oh, God, oh, God. Both of them cut metal right on top. Talk ah. amongst yourselves for a minute. Beautiful. How much time we got left? Oh, we're running out. We'll see you back in the shop. <laughs> 